Today for SipSense.com, I'm going to be taking a look at MicroSip, a really fun, capable little user agent that is really good, especially if you're learning SIP, because it allows you to have multiple instances running at the same time, and it's really easy for you to configure different accounts. So I've pulled down the zip file, and I've unpacked it into two directories, so that each directory is going to contain its own config file, and once I've enabled it here, also its own log file so that I can see what each user agent is doing in respect to the calls that it's involved with. So uh, I've enabled the log file for Alice. I'll also load up Bob. Uh, and the other thing that I'm doing is I'm also enabling the local SIP account, which means that you can have a local peer-to-peer -peer SIP call, uh, even if I go off and set up a SIP account connected to a real SIP provider, a real SIP trunk. Uh, so here we'll just enable the log file and again enable the local account. Now given that we've got two SIP user agents, the second one, Bob, uh, is not going to be able to bind to the default well-known SIP port. So I'll need to find out where it is reachable for SIP. So I'm opening up the log file, scrolling down, and there we are. We see that it's SIP UDP socket is reachable at the address and port shown. So I'm going to grab that, copy it, and then head over to Alice and I'll paste that into the address field so that I can initiate a call going from Alice to Bob. Great, Bob receives the call. We can answer, have a conversation. When we're done, terminate the call. Nice standard SIP call stuff, uh, but you'll notice that the log file is now updated with all the messages related to that call. So I can see the invite, the payload offer. I can see the 100 trying, come back. A little bit further down, we'll see the 180 ringing followed by the 200 OK. Uh, also useful is all the additional details that tells you what the user agent is doing at the point when it received those SIP requests or sent those SIP responses. If you'd like to learn more about SIP, come and visit us at sipsense.com.